Silk Road's American Railroad is coming to Northwest Arkansas in early November and joining us with more on their show and the tour is acclaimed composer and instrumentalist Kauru. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your hey. time. Good morning, everybody. It's great yeah. to be here. Yeah. So talk to us. What what is your role in Silk Road? Um, I play Japanese drums and Japanese flutes, Japanese percussion. Uh, I, I grew up in the States, but I spent most of much of my adult life in japan kind of re re uh, uh claiming and, and getting in touch with my japanese heritage um and then going really deep into japanese music uh I, i'm kind of a specialist in, in these certain types of flutes and drums and rhythms of, of japan um and everyone in the ensemble has their own kind of specialty from different parts of the world and the magic of this group is that we all come together and make music together whether we're from from japan or china or scotland or um, America, or uh, uh, the uh, Congo. Um, Beautiful. We're kind of coming from all over the place. Yeah. Uh, India, um, et cetera. So. Yeah. So, what's it like? Because you're you're talking about instrumentalists and instruments that are mm -hmm. sort of indigenous to different regions of the world, but you're bringing them all and putting them all on one stage together. So maybe talk us through that process. What's that like? And, and what do the audience think of the performances? Um. The process is one of deep empathy, a lot of communication. We have to teach each other not just about um, our instruments and where they come from and the meaning behind them, but also the scales that we use and the different types of rhythms that we use. And then it's through understanding each other's language, musical language, uh, and then learning how to reinterpret them and, and deal with them in our own ways. Um, it's a process, right? And then finally, at the, at the end results is we're, we've kind of created a new musical language and, and these new dialogues, um, new ways of, 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 uh, of communicating with each other. Um, but ultimately, you know, some of the music is, is very just joyful and exciting. Some can be very somber and kind of more meditative. Um, but um, audiences, they, they, they hate it, I think, is, is the general <laughs> consensus. <a> <laughs> It's it's been you know the Silk Road has been around for about twenty years now and uh, started by Yo Yo Ma and has performed all over the world and um, has won a couple of Grammys or I'm sorry just one Grammy but um, one uh, anyway uh, it, it's been really amazing I think it shares it shows to the world that um, this communication is possible these this international across genres across uh, rit uh, you know rituals from different um, religions. Uh, different languages that we speak, it all can come together in a really harmonious uh, and beautiful way. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful. So what is something that you hope audiences come away with after seeing a show? Um, it can go from just, oh, that was some really nice music, and I'm really kind of, you know, touched and moved, as, as most music hopefully does. Um, also, with this particular concert, we're dealing with the themes of the American Railroad. And so we're, again, channeling, using our own uh, experiences to kind of tell the stories of or highlight, highlight kind of the, the, the different communities that were affected by um, the building of the American Railroad. It's, it's a beautiful story of, you know, of industrialism and of technology and, and this country coming together. But it's also a story of, of heartbreak and, and, and sad by the, the people who actually built the works in the railroad, the immigrant, Irish immig immigrant communities, African, Black American communities, the, the Native American communities that were devastated by the, this, these, um, the, the building of the railroad. Um, so it, it, it's both full of, of joy and, and, and um, stories of, of, of perseverance and strength, but it's also a lot of tragedy and, and kind of honoring all of that and trying yeah. to put it all together in a in a yeah. in a in a package of music um we it's not just it's music but it's also we have uh, these pamphlets and we have a website where people can go to if they want to learn more about the history or they can just engage with the music and and, and the feelings that they get from that yeah well you see the details right yes. there you can check this one out rogers convention center happening on november the second thank you so much for taking the time to join us today thank we you appreciate you beautiful story can't wait to hear it thank you so much can't, can't wait to be there yeah absolutely Looking forward to it.